Hey guys, um, I'm going to try my first uh, pros and cons video, and it's on my Lord Voldemort one that I got, got a few weeks ago at Barnes & Noble. It's not the fancy box one or anything, it's this one. I'll like see some of the box art. Picture of Voldemort right there. Has the clear cover thing so you can see the long one at ten o'clock. I'll put that up the right side up. There Lord Voldemort's wand. Has a picture of his wand on the side as well. And it's for a noble collection. Here's a picture of the other ones that you can get in this series, I guess. Dumbledore, Harry Potter, and Hermione Granger's one. This was the only one that they had in stock, so. And I've been wanting Lord Voldemort's one for a long time, so I was probably able to get it because it was only 30 bucks. This is the box thing that it comes with. So on to the wand itself. It's a really nice wand design. Really evil, obvious. Not really sure how long this one is. It doesn't look a full 15 inches. I could be wrong though. Um, it's really handle heavy. Probably because of the design and extra material they had to use for it, the main design. But uh, that's the only uh, con thing that I can really think of. Hmm. Oh, I found another one, I believe. Yep. Did not notice that there's a chip in the paint uh, right there. You can see it clearly, but it doesn't really bug me too much as long as it doesn't get any worse. Uh, the pros, other than that, it's a really nice, cool working wand design. Probably one of the coolest designs to have in the regular character collections. I say regular character because like there's uh, all of them on and other places for more custom stuff. Um, it's really comfortable to hold actually if you did it right. I hold mine like this. Thought you're supposed to hold it really anyway. At least I think so. That's kind of a bend to it. I don't mess with that too much because I don't want to break my wand on video because that would really suck. Yeah, that paint chip doesn't really bother me too much because it's on the bottom part anyway. And it does have the curve on the shaft. You can't really see it, I don't think. But like, if you hold the wand a certain way, you can see a slight curve about right here. In this area, like in person. Um, I really like how they did the paint job too. It's like a bone, kind of a bony finish. Because that's what uh, this part reminds me of. Like, I uh, can't think of what's body part. Oh, uh, maybe like a wrist bone or something in this area. And then you got a claw right here 
No, no, I call it thing right here. Or a bang or whatever. Might be, this might be a thing too, I don't know. But yeah. This is my Lord Voldemort wand. I have uh, two other character themed wands coming in. Hopefully next Friday, possibly. So I'll do a video reveal on that. Um, it's not uh, from Noble Collection, it's from a seller on Amazon. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on wands, type in. Uh, what did I type in? Uh, just type in Harry Potter wands and there'll be a picture with like five different wands. And you can pick whoever wand you want from the list. It's like the prices are like between 12 and 14 dollars, so not too bad. And they're made of the same materials anyway. I might actually get uh, their version of the Lord of All More Wands, like a comparison because there's the finish on their wand seems more lighter, lighter than like a bone kind of finish. Uh, yeah, you can really see the curvature if I hold it like this now. Maybe sort of. It's like straight on the handle and then it curves downward. It's kind of cool. So yeah, there's really nothing to complain about this wand, his wand, he who must not be named, Dark Lord. Um, so yeah, it's my Lord Voldemort wand, he who must not be named, the Dark Lord, and his, all and so forth. You get the point. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to get more character themed wands in the future. Alright, see you guys.